Rugby World Cup 2019 final is not far away. Uh, it's England up against the Springboks. Uh, it's going to be a titanic clash. You only get to see these games once every four years. So this is kind of the pinnacle event uh, of world rugby. Pleasing news is in that most places that I've checked, these games seem to be free to air. So in New Zealand, the, the final is free to air. It's live on television New Zealand. Uh, the bronze final uh, against uh, New Zealand and Wales that's going to be free to air but an hour delayed uh, ITV in the UK has had the whole tournament uh, free to air TF1 in France uh, again whole tournament free to air I believe in Ireland it's going to be on RTE uh, again free to air so this is all very good news uh, South Africa everything was under the, the pay provider Supersport but it looks like the South African Broadcasting Company, SABC, has done a deal uh, with them to get that game free to air for the South African people, which is, again, fantastic news. America, I checked, and it looks like it's still on NBC, which is a paid game, and it's like 35 bucks American per game. So uh, unless someone can tell me differently, I believe that one is still uh, the case. I'm not sure about South America on ESPN. Uh, as well, I believe it's paid, but again, stand to be corrected. Fiji, it's free, free to air there, which is awesome. Uh, on Australia, it's going to be the bronze final and the actual final uh, on 10, live and free. So that's, again, awesome news. Um, but yeah, if you guys are going to watch some rugby over the weekend, the Rugby World Cup final is on. So this is probably uh, the time to get it done. If none of those options are going to work for you, oh, I should mention, if you are in a location which uh, I've hopefully been figuring out how to um, list all the broadcasters here on the official website, if it's a country which hasn't sold the broadcast rights, then it should be available free on the Rugby World Cup website. They can just stream it there. Uh, if you are unlucky enough to be in one of the places uh, where it is behind a paywall and you haven't signed up or it's a ridiculous price, uh, do check out the ExpressVPN option after this uh, as the other option to, to get it for like I think 13 bucks American. So relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other options. But yeah, for most places, uh, free to air, which is awesome news for, uh, for rugby fans around the world. Uh, preview for that game as soon as all the teams are out. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later. So if you are living in a place where the game is not being shown free to air and you haven't got yourself sorted, ITV is the place to go. Use ExpressVPN. There's a link in the description. You can sign up for a month, for six months, or a year. The year one comes with a discount, but if all you need is the month, then go with that. It's like less than 13 bucks American. Connect to a server in the UK. Once it connects, that sorry message you're seeing there on ITV's site, that will disappear and you can just jump on uh, and watch the game. So categories, um, sport, and basically if you scroll down, uh, eventually you'll see the Rugby World Cup content is there. This is all the stuff which has been played uh, in the past, so all the games on demand. The games, uh, the games will be live streamed as well. So to sign up for this, you do need an ITV account, but it's free if you're in the UK. So you just need your email address and a UK postcode. Just Google UK postcode and put in whichever postcode works for you. But um, yeah, it's the Rugby World Cup final, guys. Link in the description for ExpressVPN. Hopefully you guys are in a place where it is free to air. But um, yeah, either way, this is what it's been all about. And um, enjoy it, guys.